So uh, here's a quick look at my mouse setup. And I, pardon the noises, but uh, it's 9.30 a.m. and people are going about the business. I'm seven floors up. And uh, basically you can hear everything in a three block radius from up here. So I will apologize for that when I'm making videos. So uh, anyway, back to the mouse. I have a Logitech Pro Game Mouse, which is focus. I want focus. The uh, Logitech Pro Game Mouse, which is similar to uh, Brian's ferret mouse in his latest video, which is I think a 103 or 203. Might be the same mouse, I wouldn't know, but they, here they call it a Pro Game Mouse. It has uh, RGB, which means it gives you more actions per second. Or per minute, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, what, whatever the case is, uh, makes you feel good when you look at it. It is on a uh, Logitech mouse pad, I think it's a uh, 503 or whatever, I don't remember the model. And it is quite frictionless, so I mean, as you can see, uh, you get a fair amount of movement, freedom movement, uh, movement on it. The mouse is a bit heavy, but that suits me because I use a kind of like a grip, pinch grip on the side. And it, what is it? Cr uh, crunch? Crunch? Clinch? Clinching grip? Yeah, okay, well, I'll call it a clinch, clinching grip. So I clinch it and then you just, just tap the mouse. So basically, I move it with my wrist, holding it like that, and just tap, 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 tap. Oops. Oh, nothing happened there. Yeah, so that's basically my mouse and mouse pad setup. But another interesting thing people will notice is that. My mouse pa uh, cable goes off the table and goes up there underneath my uh, monitor shelf riser. And the reason for that is I use that actually to reduce the uh, cable drag for the mouse. As you can see, it only makes contact on the surface of the table at the mouse pad. So, since the cable is soft and quite uh, frictionless, uh, along with the mouse pad's uh, friction, uh, frictionless surface, surface, you don't get where you don't get, I think, I, in my opinion, I don't get any cable drag, so I adjusted the length so that at least there's some flexibility, as you can see, it flexes a bit, and then, there you go. So I'm using one of these uh, table vaginas, or as they call it, uh, cable management pads, stuck that on these there, and then, oops, and then clip the cable into it, but if you don't have anything to, uh, you know, stick it up underneath, you can use a, uh, as you can see over here, it's a, uh, it's a switch, I can't squeeze somewhere, it's a switch and I have also one stuck on top there, so you can basically stick it here, you know what you want, what are you doing? So basically you can stick it on top there and then you can put the switch as close as you can to your mouse pad and, and then use the height of the switch, you know, to keep the cable off the table until it makes contact with the mouse pad. And of course, arrange the slack is the way you like it. So, I mean, that's basically my setup. And I uh, uh, hope you like the video. We'll, we'll get a focus there, see if we can do it. Let's take a look at my setup too. A little bit. There we go. So, now you can see it. It disappears underneath here. It is adjustable. You can pull and, uh, you can pull and push it, adjusting the length. So, yeah, that's it.